All right, I'm out here again. I'm going to pull this exhaust off. It's a stupid idea to put it on. But it looks good, don't it? I'm going to torque the heads, torque the case nuts. Make sure all my bottom nuts are on. Um, and just go from there. Find all of these. I believe I am missing one of these or a washer. I forget. We'll find out. To clean off the table. Maybe lay it on its back. Get rid of the shroud. Take that off for now. This table is pretty strong. But, um... Having fun. All right, these are my push rod tubes, and everybody hates these because they say they leak. Well, if you forget that in the middle, guess what? They leak. If you don't put them in right like that, they leak. These are okay. This, this is okay. Excuse me. This is okay. Now, I made the mistake of putting these in, and I'm realizing that I forgot my engine cooling tin. Now, this is a cool little thing that somebody invented. It goes just like this, but it doesn't go over those tubes. It goes behind them like this one is, and I forgot. So, I gotta take those tubes out. They're just spring loaded, very easy. Uh, can't do it with one hand, but. So, I gotta pop those two out, and then I'll take a picture and show you how this tin goes, and then I'll put the last two of them in. Then I have to find my push rods. I did have all my nuts, by the way. All my nuts were in there. I didn't lose any, amazingly enough. Alright, this side's pretty much done. Everything's in here. This one's, I gotta straighten it out a little bit. It looks a little crooked. But, uh, alright, gotta pop these two out and, uh, put them in correctly. Alright, well, this one snapped right in. This one gave me a little bit of a fight, and here's a good way to show that it's incorrectly. See how it's flush with the fins on the bottom here? This one's flush with the fins on the bottom here? Actually, that one's not. It's got to go in a little more. Let's see. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. That's the shape of the fins. Yep, yep. Just like this side. This side lifts over. This side's flush. Uh, I'm going to check. There's little grooves in this thing now you can check, so... I can feel that this one's in because there's no more groove. But, uh, looking pretty good here. Yeah. This side is all done. There are all the tubes are in. The next is push rods, and then rocker arms, and then torquing that, and finding top dead center on every one, and you'd name it. I don't know where my push rods are, though. Um, one of those things. Put it down. I cleaned them. I put them down somewhere, and I don't know where I put them. I thought I had everything in that box. Um, I'm losing my mind. They're probably in a drawer right there. I'll, I'll look for them later. But I gotta fix this one. This one's crooked. Okay, when you get these fun. things, open it up, and pay attention to the directions that are blowing away on me. Alright, it goes seal, 
spring washer seal tube washer, which is, this comes off, you take the little ringy off, this is not going to be easy. You put a seal on this end, I'll do it left-handed for you. If you do it left-handed, you can do it. Alright, put a seal on that one. It's the other square end, put a seal on that one. I'm going to do it left-handed. I can do it left-handed. Alright, now, we've got the long tube. The spring goes on the long tube. I can't do this on camera, that's for sure. Then the metal clip, the metal washer, sorry. Then another one of these slides on this tube, and what happens is the spring pushes this into the groove on this tube right here. And then you spring load it, and you put the springs towards the engine case, because there's no room for them with the fins, they hit the fins up here. And that's the whole idea. Now it catches a little bit of oil here, but it doesn't leak. I've never had these leak. I've used these five, six, seven times. I've used these on the side of the road before and I smashed the tube. Went right down the tubes, took out three of them. We had to put uh, pull the rockers on the side of the road and put these spring tubes in. I think it cost them 12 bucks. But that was back in the 80s and they aren't 12 bucks anymore. All right, last one going in. Here is one, two, three, four, and here is a one, two, three. Number four goes in there and in there. And then I got to find my push rods. I don't know why, I've been listening to that um, I put on my Facebook too, I put uh, a link to those old V-Dub commercials where they called it Unpimp Your Ride, look that up, they're pretty funny. The dude in it looks like the guy, uh, the Russian guy from Armageddon, it might be him, I don't know, I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, a little more work. Alright, all of my lower case bolts are in place, these here. Ones that hold the bottom of the case together, they're all torqued. I have one over here. That one's ready to go in. I had a red Loctite the uh, the, head, the nut on the bolt, so because it's just a it's a full threaded stud, and half the case is threaded. So I red Loctited that nut on there. Um, I need one for here because I had one out front that broke. Um, it's a pretty long one too. This one's all set, and this one is the generator clamp, the stand for the uh, the intake manifold where the generator sits on, actually the carburetor. But um, looking good. Nice to see everything torqued. I couldn't turn this thing if I tried because all the valves are closed. Well, we got intake, we got exhaust, but the valves are closed. Nothing's gonna turn. But um, we gotta find those damn push rods. Once I put the push rods in, I can go. Put the rockers on, torque them, set each valve, set it back down. I have to order another oil pump. The one that I had was for, like I said, a flat cam. My cam is dished. You see it in there, it's like a bowl. I have a dished cam. And they better get it right this time. Because I was looking at the notes and it appears that I ordered the correct one. They sent the wrong one. So what did they do? They credited me. And that's going to take a few days. And it's already been like a week. We know how long it's been. The camera does awesome. It's pretty dark in here. It's the end of the day. Blow my studs out because we're going to be getting the fuel pump, the oil pump again. Um, looking good, having fun, and I cannot believe how clean it is. You know the bugs and nuts and. Alright, doing more work. Alright, well I didn't do much in the way of videoing because I was uh, fixing threads, chasing threads. Uh, I had to chase this one, it was loaded with rust. It seems that anything beyond the bracket itself, beyond the threads where the nut goes, is just like clogged. So, all new copper nuts, those are 12, mil 12 millimeter. They're not the big 13s that the factory put on that would disintegrate. Um, they're copper, they actually have copper nevices on them too. I don't know how I'm doing with the fan, but. 
looks awesome. And the exhaust is bolted on, the only thing I'm missing is those little donut gaskets. Trying to sneeze. <laughs> Ugh. The little donut gasket goes on here and there's a clamp that goes over. It's the ugliest thing in the world. Um, I'm going to have to get some. I don't have any. I've never even considered those. All of the nuts are in and torqued. Um, all the case is torqued. I have two, like I said, i got two studs to fix here. I'm going to have to pick some up because one of them is just really bad. Just like rotted to the point there was no threads. This is your heat riser. Uh, that's the thing that the manifold connects to. If I can see the manifold, what's right there the manifold? Well, it's right here. It's these little tubes. That little tube right there. That's where that sits. And those pretty red intake manifolds sit right here. I'll show you one of them. Powder coated red. Thank God those are the right ones. I have them both. Actually, these are the, um, I think these are the emission tube. It's a little dusty. You have to give this thing a bath when it's together and running. But, and your intake manifold goes between those. This bright red. Now I don't have my engine tins on there over there right now. Um, but there's no more nuts in here. All the nuts are gone. That's why I was telling uh, Musty. Look up Musty One on YouTube. Um, he has some pretty cool Volkswagen vans and. He started an engine with uh, all the rat's nest in it, basically. The whole shroud was full of crap. Cleaned it out. The, actually, the engine was stuck and broke it free, and he got it running. Um, how long it lasted, I, oh, I didn't pay attention to that, but <laughs> it ran. These things are like, I don't know, they're, they're timeless. You can rebuild it and rebuild it and rebuild it, and this sucker will go and go and go. There's not a Volkswagen engine on the planet that you should have to throw away because they're so easy to rebuild. As long as the case is good, you're all set. Even if the jugs are bad, even if the heads are bad, 9 out of 10 of them are the same thing. I mean, well, I stick with the dual ports. I like the dual port. I love how the intake manifold breaks into three pieces. There's one, your center piece would be here, and here's two, three. Um, that's it. It's steady. It's just it's rocking on the uh, oil pan doesn't go far. Uh, the rocker arms, now I did not set the rocker arms. The covers are just on there. You can spin these off with your fingers. I'm going to get some better nuts too. These are just like white metal garbage. I'm going to put some nice stainless alloys or something in there. Um, this is a stock size pulley. Whether or not I'm going to be able to use it with the oil pump, of which is going to stick up in here, um, we'll find out. If not, I will order a small, what they call it, a, um, what the hell do they call that thing? Smaller pulley. <laughs> of course, making this pulley smaller slows down the speed of the alternator, so. I like the copper nuts, those are pretty cool. I did not paint this, I did paint the jugs. These are cast steel, these are aluminum, so I was like, you know what, these have been bare aluminum their whole life. Let's uh, leave them that way. That is it. I'm going in. You have a good night. And it's uh, Friday night, the 13th, I believe. Is it Friday the 13th? Oh my god, no. 13th or 14th. But i um, got a few things to do tomorrow, and maybe I can play with this some more. I really don't want to pick it up alone right now, because that sucker is heavy. These heads, um, the heads being on, the jugs being on, the exhaust being on, this thing is getting heavy. So you have a good night, and we will do some more work this weekend. I'm going to take a ton of pictures. One little thing. I was turning over the flywheel, and I forgot to mention, we have compression. I was letting out little pops and farts when I was turning up my hand. You turn it out and hear... <laughs> so something's going on already in there. You have a great night, and thank you for watching.